I should be cautious around here. Do you see? Culprit searches for a Jotun and a Muspel subject to complete their work. Muspel's killing Muspel's. Writings on the ritual. They are performed at night. There's emphasis on something called a Salakar. My elven is rusty. Vessel of souls, I think. Is this the object from the vault? The culprit was deciphering elven runes. Something about the binding of only the most powerful Hoogers. about the culprit's affairs. Only she and Sutra are aware. Light on your feet, Asa. Following me now? You've become quite useful, Aesir. My gratitude for opening the vault. Now tell me, what happened there? I'm following the stink as it rises. As are you. Care to tell me why that is? 
Days ago, Sinmara ordered my best warriors to the vault without bothering to inform me. I've not heard from them since. Well, you're casting your suspicions at the right people. Whose quarters are these? His name is Calder, an adept in magic. Or Seder, as you Asgardians sometimes call it. This place is where he practices it. Whatever he's doing, it is not Seder. At least not as I know it. He is using something called a Salakar. It's part of a deadly ritual. And from what this room tells me, the dead will continue to pile up. Dwarves. Yotna. Who spells? I don't know what you're talking about. You wouldn't. Your stepmother despises and distrusts you. Your father only the latter of those, for now. But in time, thanks to her venomous whispers, he may come to hate you as much as she does. This is a lie. All of it. Your twisted attempt to pit me against them. <laughs> Sift through the mesh yourself. No other truth lies within. Where are you going? After the Salakar. Whatever it is, your father needs it. it Maybe the only leverage I have to get my son back. Calder marked the place on the map surrounded by waters just northeast. If he's planning another ritual there, I may be able to understand what value this Salakar holds. Calder, with your permission, we will now return to Asa. Soon, I have need for you still. Asa's warriors, where do they fit into all this? They say the you are one of our captains, yes? A duty I share with two others here. I thought I saw something in you. Stout, resolute. Step over here. Sigrun and Halstein were two of the most revered sons of Ivaldi. If such prestige is a requirement for these rituals, then Calder is surely luring that Muspel to his death. I wonder if there's a way I can observe the ritual up close. I need to approach Calder without him taking notice. Perhaps the best way is with deception. Join me, chosen ones. Together. We will enact Suter's will.
signs that I find of this pursuit. Read your eye. stand in her path. No other bodies on this war path. He was the last to die. He knocked into this rock, most likely dead upon impact. Several wounds. This one put up a fight. Briefly, I suspect. Asa caught up to Calder. His warriors moved in while he pushed on. But Asa tore through them like a whirlwind. The trail of the dead reveals her direction. Calders too. And most importantly, the Salah cars. They are headed west. Aid me. I need to find Calder before Asa does. In her bloodlust, the Salakar is not safe. Looks like these two brought all the fires of Muspelheim with them. And Freya wonders why I have always refused to take her on a tour of that scorched jungle. Asa and Calder fought here. Blood was spilt. Two sets of footprints. One is stretched, like someone fled. The other closer together, uneven and lined with blood. They were hobbling, perhaps. Asa and Calder fought here. He gained the advantage. Foolish girl. Asa, your rage makes you vulnerable. She's hurt, but not enough to stop her. Looks like she followed Calder up that hill. These curious Jotun performers will stand in my way. They should run, but they won't. No! Out! Out! There was a cart here, and drag marks leading to it. Someone. The dead stack up. For these misspells, Ragnarok came early. Asa's spear. Abandoned. Did Calder and his minions finally best her? Asa chased Calder into this camp, leaking her lifeblood. Blinded by rage and utterly reckless. <sighs> Looks to have cost her too. She came crashing in, mauling whatever half-wit stood between her and Calder. But those half-wits fought back in numbers. Injured and disarmed, she was overpowered and restrained. Calder then had her tossed onto a cart like a sack of turnips. Looks like they fled up that path. 
What is it Calder plans to do with the little princess now that she is his prisoner? Surely not. These tracks lead west. I must find Calder and the Selikar. For Baldur's sake. I paused here for a moment before continuing. Most likely to re-secure Ace's barns. Even in her sorry state, I imagine her to be quite the handful. She even bested me. Temporarily. Perhaps Baldur would not approve of my methods. Of the cruelty I must perform on his behalf. He and Ace, they are young. Pure of heart, but lacking in logic. One day they will grow up and see life as I see it. In the meantime, they must rely on me to ensure they live long enough to achieve that wisdom. And so, I do not have the luxury of being... faultless. They made a turn here toward the river. Hey, sir. Is that you again, mad one? Come to tempt fate, I see. I do not die this day. Can you say the same? <laughs> ah, yes. You've proven once already how you like to strut around, unencumbered by fear. Perhaps the Salakar did not give you an adequate taste of it. Enough of this blithering. Hand over what is now mine, or shall I just take it? To no fear. We must be subjected to it. When I am through with you, I will take Asa's willful ogre. Soon after, the Salakar will be complete. Then, believe me, you will know fear and pain. Just like your son. Is that your best? Why is Sutra collecting hookahs? What does he mean to do with the Salakar? Tell me! <clears throat> Why do you aim to finish my work? Ask yourself how much you care to suffer in these final moments. Do your worst! You are wasting your breath. He will not tell you. And he won't have to. His secrets are known to me now. You want them? Move aside. Move aside, or I will destroy it. Traitor! Traitor? It is you who are slaughtering your own kind. What I do, I do for Suta. Such devotion requires a strong Hugar. All these Moospil sacrifices, you need it only look inward. <laughs> Was he right? About you wanting to complete the Salakar? 
Sutra will not trade my son for something he cannot use. So you will see it through? To what end? How many lives would you take? For Balda, I would drain all nine realms. Even Asgard. The words of a dreadful king. And a selfless father. It is the one thing that separates you from my own. You wish to reunite with your son. I wish to see my father's plans lie in ruin. No matter the price. Can you see both through? I can. But I will need your help. The Selakar still requires the hooker of a suitable Jotun. Kulta never found one. I must get hunting. Do as you will. In the meantime, I'll join my stepmother, wherever she may be. I will try to learn how the Salakar fits into my father's plans. Under the guise of a contrite stepdaughter, of course. Keep it. I will need a way to find you when it is time to confront my father. You and this Barvel share a bond. I set out to use you to my advantage. It ends with me in your debt. If it were not for you, I would have never known what my father was capable of. He used our people. Turned them on each other. For his gain. I cannot forgive him. And to that end, I am your ally. In Asgard, an ally is a friend. Let us not get carried away. Come to humiliate us some more? Help me, and I'll compose you a saga so exalted it will endure Ragnarok itself. But first, I need a name and a place. For what? For whom? The mightiest Jotun in all of Svartalfheim. We know the one. Right hand of Sutinger. Now, Vigor. Here because of us. She is... worthwhile. Gave your son Vidar quite the beating once, didn't she? One day Vidar will make me proud. But why would Malviga care about you two? Premier and Lom aren't our real names. <laughs> Allow me to introduce... Fiala and Gala. The ones who killed... Sutinger's father. I heard something about him trying to outdrink a couple of dwarves. And after, befuddled, tripping and breaking his neck. <sighs> Sutinger wasn't happy. Held us responsible. But luckily we'd acquired some mead. Some special mead. And well, Sutinger is partial to a bit of mead. We bartered it in exchange for our lives. Except afterwards. Some thieving twat went and stole it. Loki, most likely. It's always Loki. Whoever it was, Sutunga didn't catch them. So he decided to take it out on us instead. Sent Malviga to hunt us down. Been incognito ever since. Can't trust this lot not to sell us out. Still, she hasn't found us yet. She will. Malviga's dangerous prey. Even for you. But we can help balance the scales. Our old house, north of here. Sunk in a lake. Inside, upstairs on a table. You'll find a cup of great potency. Cup? You know, the cup. Oh yes, the cup. Has the power to do wonderful stuff. For instance... So, I bring you the cup, and then... 
We show you how to use it against Malfigur. It's a deal. Chase it, Lord. Who on this hero stagger? What? But we're Not giants! Fun. wondrous cup of theirs should be on the table over there nothing perhaps someone has already been here and stolen it assuming there was a cup in the first place <laughs> might as well give up you one-eyed fart! Hey! Leave it! Both! You are the right! The deal is, and I will not trouble you again. It's best to leave one of your enemies alive, so they can tell of your greatness. Everyone knows of my greatness. Perhaps there are one or two who have not yet heard? Just tell me where Malvigor is. What... what's in it for me? I do not know, but I will tell you this. The longer you make me wait, the worse it will be. <sighs> Malvigor is at the dam to the west. And now? Will you spare me? Look me in the eye and meet your fate as a warrior should. Please. Just make it quick. Rocket views. But 
remind me of when I once roved the land with Freak. The cool nights spent together beneath the stars. She enjoyed the solitude as much as I. And the trouble and danger even more. And then came the war with the Vanya. Taking Freya as my bride. It helped end that strife. But it ended many other things too. What trickery is this? They had hoped that by serving you up, I would show them mercy. Clearly a misapprehension on their part. Yet here I am, served up. If I were here for you, High One, I would have brought an army. No. Sutengard will have his vengeance, but not it. I know why you have come. I have a bone to pick with you. After what you did to my son, Vida, I must... Vidar put up an honorable fight. That is not what I heard. Do not believe the stories. Upon his return, too weak to stand, he squirmed like a worm caught in the sun. <laughs> you should have seen me. My acolytes had to carry me home on their backs. No. Your boy fought well. Is that why you spared his life? It is. But you aren't here to avenge Vidar's honor. You have come to steal my Hugar. And I intend to stop you. How do you know this? Esir, Jotun. You and Loki are both mad. And Hirokin is just as bad. And Thor is so stupid he might as well be mad. You spread chaos wherever you go. Yet, you are all known quantities to us. Surtur is not. He rarely emerges from Muspelheim, and when he does, he shares little with us. Thus, while here, I have sent my spies to learn what he plans, beyond wiping out the dwarves like he did the elves of Alvain. What do you know of his plans? I know that he found a powerful elven relic, and that his minion, Calder, was tasked with finding the Hugaris necessary to sustain it. That Calder is now trapped within said relic, and that you would have me join him. I must trade the Salakar for my son. You. The one who almost killed Sutengard for his meat. We'll hand over a legendary relic, take your son and leave. Just like that. Ah. <laughs> 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 <sighs> Put your mania aside, Havi. Work with me. Together we will foil Surtur's ambitions. I cannot take the risk. With each breath, Baldur is a step closer to death. I was a parent once. But we must look beyond ourselves. For the good of all. We have spoken long enough. So...
Do what you came here to do. Get on with it, blind one. End my misery. Oh, Ymir. True, oh father. My body comes to you. Sent by the same ambassador who claimed your own. As for my Hooger, do not weep for me. I do not deserve this. No, you do not. Yes, that is the place. 